just a second early, but hey, now I'm on time. And I want to welcome you to this week's Dyes Shorts. Today is July the 23rd, 2021. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. My name is Diana, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Santan Valley, Arizona. And we are having monsoon season in Arizona. We've been having some crazy weather, stuff flying, microbursts, and ah, uh, they don't like to call them tornadoes, but sometimes I think, you know, I think that was. So, um, so it's, um, it's nice that we're having a little bit cooler weather, you know, with the rain, but um, I don't mind the rain. We're just like, keep the winds down, keep the flooding down. Just give us that moisture and that um, precipitation that we need in the dry desert. So so again, welcome, you to, welcome to my channel. I want to make sure I'm indeed in the right spot so that I can um, make sure I don't miss anybody. All right, so let me um, share over here and we will get started. I have a cute little card today and we are thinking outside of the stamp set. And I like to um, do fun things with them. make them go a little, little further for money. Um, um, be worth more, like our stamp sets be worth more. So that's what we're doing today. Hey, Lily, I am enjoying the ring. Um, and last night, I had a picture of it, but it was just hard to take a picture of it. But it was like this amazing light show. As the lightning, it just, I mean, I think for like a couple hours, it just was like the heavens were taking pictures. Pavarazzi was just going crazy now at, when i i take my hearing aids out at night so i don't know if there was like thunder but the lightning was just like it was just out of this world i almost woke jeff up but i thought eh, it's up pretty early he probably wouldn't appreciate me wait the, the lightning but um, um it was it was pretty wild all right and um so let's get started hey nancy all right yes tgif uh, lately, we've been doing Italian on Fridays. Not always pizza. Uh, <clears throat> they have really good pizza, but they also have good sandwiches. So sometimes um, we switch it up and, and get a sandwich. So um, so I don't know if you also like to do certain things on certain days, like Taco Tuesday and all that kind of stuff. Um, but um, So anyway, so let me uh, turn the phone and we will get started. So as usual... I have a couple things to go over like I usually do. And one of that, one of those is the host code for July. So this is the hostess code for July. So if you are placing an order that's under 150 before tax and shipping, that is the um the hostess code for you. If you're ordering over, don't use that. And then you'll get your own hostess benefits. All right, I also have a new ink incentive every month. And this month are the loose flower flourishes. So if you order 75 before tax and shipping, when I send you your July thank you card in August, you'll get a pack of these awesome little flowers. Now they come in, you know, the little, not this glass jar, but I always try to say that because I'd hate somebody to go, hey, mine came in a little plastic container not that cute glass jar but you know me i like to um put my embellishments in different little jars all right okay so that was that also don't forget we have the dsp share go or the dsp sale going on 15 percent off there's nine different ones that goes to august the second so don't miss out on that the month is just zipping on by and before you know it it'll be august the third and you'll go oh my gosh i forgot to order my dsp all right as well as i also have hey marcy i have a dsp share and that is the dsp from the holiday mini and i explained it the other day i showed them and um and everything but i had a couple of people I think misunderstood what I was talking about when I was showing the prices because I have like a price without the Blackberry Beauty and a price with. And they were saying, well, I want 
the Blackberry Beauty. But um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this in stock. That's why I have two different prices. So if the Blackberry Beauty is here by um, August the 1st, then yes, you know, it will be included and that will be the price. But if it's not, I'm just going to go ahead and do my share without. So um, if you have any questions at all, you know, make sure you let me know. But don't forget to sign up for that because um, you need to sign up by July the 31st for the DSP share. Speaking of July 31st, I also have um, early registration. So if you sign up for the Over the Border with Diane Marcy, Marcy's on here now watching the video live because um, she's in Canada. So you register with Marcy when you're in Canada. And for the, in, in the United States, you register with me. And if you register by July 31st, it's 110. If you register after, and before August the 14th, it's 115. So you definitely want to register early so that you um, save a little bit of money. All right, so let's see. I think that was all I wanted to share. Okay, so one of the new stamp sets is in the upcoming um, holiday catalog. I know it's not called holiday, but I'm old dog and that will be what I call it. It's called Nuts About Squirrels. Now the other day, I did this cute little card using these fun little squirrels, but I got thinking, gee, what if we do something else with them? So I'm playing around. So I'm also going to be using the layering circles, and I'm also using the inspiring canopy, and this is an awesome um, die, but what I'm using is this, just a little tiny circle, because I wanted a smaller circle then what comes in the layering circle dies. All right, so let's get our little um, squirrels going. So I have a piece of basic white and I'm just going to stamp my squirrel. And I usually ink them up backwards. I don't know why, but I usually ink them up this way. And then I can see that I've got the ink on there really good. And then what I do is I just put, you know, that right in the lid and then it's always you know upside down so that's just what I do I don't know why I guess it's just when you do certain things it just hap it's just a habit all right so we have a cute little squirrel let me do another one just so I have one stamped for since I have room on the paper on the on the paper so then I have another one ready to go <clears throat> later all right there we have our little squirrel. Put my pad over there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, and now this is not a Stampin' Up! thing. This is something I got off of Amazon, but it's just a memento marker. So then you can, um, it's the same ink, that's the memento. You can you can do the same thing with our, our basic black marker, but um, I usually just use this. So that's what I'm using. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, memento marker, or if you want to use the um, Stampin' Right Basic Black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw. So I love to alter or change my stamps. So I'm just going to, you know, put that on there like that. And then we're just going to color our little squirrel. All right, so I'm going to give our little squirrel, some pink, little flirty flamingo cheeks. And I can hear something beeping and I hope that's just a garbage truck out there and nothing major going on. All right, let me scoot down a little bit. Now this is just a pale, the dark, pale petal pink. So this is just a dark petal pink, and I'm just softening that flirty flamingo up a little bit. And I need to get this under here, just to catch that ink. All right, and then I'm gonna take my light. So I'm gonna take my light petal pink and do the same thing. All right, then I'm gonna take my light gray granite Hi, Susan. Hot and dry in California. Oh, I don't, we might be sending you some. I don't know. 
I don't know if it's headed that way. They said that we're, we should be getting rain for the next seven days. And we really, really need it. It is so dry in the desert. Oh, my gosh. What we don't need is all the wind and the damage that's going on. So, all right. So this is just a light gray granite. And I'm actually going to go over top of that pink right there just to soften it a little bit because it's still got some gray. All right, so this is the gray. And the little cute legs. And then I'm gonna use my black, or not my black. All right, I also wanna put a little bit on the tail. Like that. All right, then we're gonna take the dark. So we're gonna take the dark, dark gray granite, and we're just going to add some, just so that there's a little variation in color around the back side here and around the little head and here. So have you figured out what I'm doing yet? Have you figured out what I'm doing yet to the little squirrel? Jeff and I always play like, I always, and I think I get it from Granny and I'll say, oh, can you guess, you know, whatever, whatever. And he hates guessing games. And I always go, you have to guess at least three times. And usually he'll guess weird stuff, but still I make him do it. And Granny was the same way. All right, so this is just that. All right, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of petal pink here and a little flirty and where's my light gray that's the dark all right and then my light gray cute cute all right so then while I have my little marker I'm going to Take my little marker and I'm just going to extend the little whisker just a tad. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay. So then I'm going to cut out this little cutie patootie. And I, and I wish we had a die, but since I am altering this little guy, the die wouldn't really work anyway. So I'm just gonna fussy cut. All right, so we're just gonna fussy cut out our cute little squirrel. So I've been watching, I, I think I've talked about it before. I've been watching, um, if there's a channel in Arizona, and it's called Me. Well, it could be anywhere. It doesn't have to be Arizona. But it's just called Me TV. Oh, my gosh. It has old TV shows and all that kind of stuff. And so I've been watching the Waltons and Happy Days and things like that. But what's funny is I, you know, I'm from Canada. And in um, we didn't get... We always would call them the United States channels. So there's a lot of shows that I didn't see growing up, right? Because they were a United States channel that we didn't get. So there's some stuff that I didn't get to see. But um, so I was watching Leave it to Beaver. And oh my gosh, those boys, they sure did pick some crazy friends. Always getting them into trouble. And I think that, that June Cleaver, she was like an angel. She was so patient with Ward because half the time I could kick him in the butt. All right, so we are cutting out our squirrel. But can you tell what I'm doing to him? I am changing our squirrel. So this little guy is no longer a squirrel. He's now turning into a little mouse. So I'm making my little squirrel a little mouse instead because 
I was just looking at it the other day when I was cutting out and I thought, well, if I cut here and here, it totally changes the look of them. So that's what I'm doing. And then wait till you see what kind of card he's going on. Yeah, <laughs> it's too cute. All right, so I did um, did this little guy in a, in a swap as well. So I haven't shared that card yet. And I was asking the other day, I was thinking of doing this stamp set as a class. So you need to let me know if you would be interested in doing the Nuts About Squirrels as a class in the mail. And my classes in the mail, you get, you know, the stamp set. And then we usually do... Um, if it's Christmas, there's 10 cards, but the regular ones, um, where it's not like a Christmas card, then it's usually like nine, nine cards. All right, because then it's usually a variety of cards where the Christmas cards are all the same. Okay, so let me see, let me find my gray granite. All right, so we have our cute little mouse now, and I'm just going to take my gray granite, and I'm just going to go around the edge, and that's going to knock down any of the white um, cut lines that when I cut my little mouse out. So you're not going to notice them as much because the gray just kind of will blend in with the little mouse. Alright, so that looks good. Alright. Good, good, good. Alright, so now we have to put this cute little mouse on a cute card. All right, so let me get my grid sheet off of here. I guess I could leave it on there. All right, now what I did was, so I mentioned the dies that I used. So what I did was I took some, this is Mango Melody. So Mango Melody is our card base. Hi, Jeannie, Stacy. Um, so Mango Melody is our card base. And then what I did was I trimmed another Mango Melody down. And this is where I used the circles. So I just basically, um, I kind of did it with white. And I figured out like where I wanted my circles, like what I liked best. And then I just left it as a guide, you know, beside um, my Stampin' Cut and Emboss. Because I had to run it through a few times um, to get to get the circles because this is that one that's this is that little circle one from the inspiring canopy that's where the little tiny ones came from and then the rest are from just the layering circles all right so now what i want to do is i want to emphasize my circles and i'm going to take pumpkin pie and my blending brush so let me scoot up a little bit so i'm going to take my blending brush and I'm just gonna knock down some of that color. And I'm just going around very gently. I don't want it to be like in your face pumpkin, I, but I just want to emphasize the edges of the circles. So I'm just very gently going around. And you can see it's changing that mango a little bit. And let me do this one. So this one's got some. And then I also want to do it on the edges. Because I am gluing this Mango Melody on top of a piece of Mango Melody. So I have to change it a little bit. So I'm just getting that ink on there. And then just touching the edge just ever so lightly. Just to change it. Just to add a subtle bit of... Um, like a shadow. So now we've got a little bit of a shadow around the edges and inner holes. All right, so that's that. Now on the inside of the card, so this is that white piece. I'm just using this as a mask, basically. So you can tell I already like messed with it. So I'm just gonna lay this on here like that and I'm just going to hold it as carefully as I can and then my ink, my finger just will get all like inked up and then I'm just going to do the same thing so I'm just rubbing that pumpkin on my 
card and I'm doing it through the holes to emphasize. So I want the inside, I didn't want the inside to be plain, but I didn't want to put a piece of white because my card is a piece of cheese. So I wanted to keep it that cheese color, but I still wanted to, you know, put something on the inside of it. So let me see how good that is. All right. I want to lift and look. Okay, that looks good. So can you see? So now I've just kind of got like circles in there, you know, like kind of like the cheese. All right, so let me close my pumpkin pie. And so make sure you say hi when you're here. If you are new, I'm so glad you're here because I enjoy seeing everybody and chatting. All right, so let's see here. I want to put happy birthday on the inside. All right, let me make sure that's good and inked. So this is gonna be a happy birthday card. All right, so happy birthday. All right, so let's go to our piece of cheese for the front. Make sure I didn't flip it over after all that fun um, inking up. All right, so the front, so I did use the sayings that came, hi, Julie. Um, I did use the greetings from the Nuts About Squirrels. I mean, because they're, they've got like some cute fonts or whatever. I didn't use the nuts, although, you know, a mouse might eat nuts. But this is a cheese card. So, all right, so let's see here. So we've got hey there in the front. Hey there, ho there, hey there, ho there. All right, let me get this off of here. Get our card over. All right, but so now what I want to do is I want to, um, so you can see the difference, right? Because of the, the um, sponging. But we need to keep this off of the card so that we have even more um, definition with the holes. Like if I were just to glue it straight down, well, you would be able to tell because of the sponging but we want it to also catch in the light so when the person you know who gets this card you know puts it on the mantle or the refrigerator or whatever you know they put it um as the light catches it from the side the light and the um the extra dimension of the the card will also put like like a shadow so that's why I want to use, and these little baby ones are perfect to get in there. So I'm just using the little baby dimensionals. And then we'll have even more fun on the card. All right. So now I have to stand up so I get this on straight. All right. So now we're going to put our cheese on the front. So that looks good. So now we have our cute little piece of cheese. Now, if you wanted, you I could have cut this as a triangle even. You know, a triangle card. So it was really a piece of cheese. But I just left it as a square card. All right, so then we're going to put our cute little mouse on the front. And let me get my dimensionals. So I want to pay attention. So I have a little cheese hole here. So I'm going to kind of watch where I put my dimensionals. So I want one down here. And his head, like that. And I also want a little bit on his tail. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just take the side of my dimensional and cut it super thin. And then I'm gonna stick that on there. So I just want the tail to have a tiny little bit of dimension and just to support it. All right, so there we have our little tail. All right, so then it can peel the backs off. And then stick our little mouse to the card. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Eileen. Uh, yeah, I mean, I love coming up with something that m you might not think about when you look at a stamp set. All right, so let's see here. So now the tail's attached. And there is the cute little mouse on the card. So where's the one I was looking at? Hold on. You know I always do another one. So here's the one I was looking at before. So they look 
pretty, pretty darn close to each other, even on the inside. This one, so the tails are just, a, this tail I did a little fatter, this one's a little skinnier. I add a little pink to the tip of it. So you can do, you can have a, be a brown mouse if you want. This little guy's a little higher up. This one, um, after I had cut this one out, I thought, oh, I need to make his whiskers a little bit longer. So that's why I made the whiskers just a tad bit longer on this one. Hi, Stacy. And um, so hopefully you think that's cute. I love coming up with something that people might not think, hey. I remember a couple years ago we had a Santa set and it was a head like a Santa and I drew onto his beard and it made him like young because his beard was like really chiseled and stuff. So make sure you look at the stamp sets and if, if you think, boy, I wish I had a mouse or I wish I had a whatever, get out your marker. Um, like I said, you can use the black stamp and write marker, but I need to buy a new one. Um, because mine's pretty used and abused. So I usually have the memento one always on the desk too. So that's the one I usually grab, gravitate to. So um, you just want to make sure you don't want to use a Sharpie. If you are watercoloring, use a Sharpie because that, that will um, be good. But if you're using the blends, you don't want to use a Sharpie because um, it will in, it will uh, react to the Stampin' Blends. So if, if in case anyone is curious, well, why did you use a Sharpie? Um, because that's why, right? Be just like the stays on. You don't want to use a stays on pad when you use um, your Stampin' Blends because it will react to the blends. If you are watercoloring on the watercolor paper and you're using um, a stays on and you want to change your squirrel into a mouse, use a Sharpie. That's totally fine because then you'll be using um, water-based ink instead of alcohol, okay? The alcohol base. But anyways, all right, so I cut a couple extra. So I'm gonna sit and make a couple more mice cards and then I'm gonna go back to stuff an envelope. So I've been cutting cardstock for my July classes in the mail. So those will, go, will be going out this week. So um, make sure that if you don't know about my classes, make sure you um, hop on over to my blog and um, sign up for that or just email me. I'd love to chat with you. And um, have a, yes, um, yeah, have a good weekend, everybody. Hi, Stacy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna um, say bye for now. Have a great weekend. I will see you um, Monday for my mimeograph Monday. Same time, same channel. And um, have a great weekend. All right, bye for now.